Okay, in this video we're going to cover the whale heating system. So this is heating and hot water on gas and electric. The top row is water heating and the bottom row is heating. So we'll go with the water heating first. You just press and it scrolls along look to the right. So you just keep going until you've got the one you want. The first one is a frost heater. That's just, if you want to leave it for a short period of time with water in it when it's cold and you're not using it, you can do that and it just warms the water up just enough to stop it from having any problems with freezing or anything like that. If you're leaving it for a long period, just drain it all down and do it properly and switch it off. But if it's just overnight before you go away somewhere, you can do that to keep it safe. Next one is low on electric. One after that is high on electric. After that is gas, or you can have gas and electric simultaneously. And the water heater is as simple as that. If you leave it for a minute, it'll come on and that's that. The last one is just higher on electric and gas, so everything like full power if you like. And off. So that's the water heater. The bottom one's the heating. And again, you've got a frost heater. It's just a very slight keep the edge off so it doesn't get freezing cold inside. And then up in increments, hotter, 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 up to the highest temperature like that. And to choose the power source, you go with this one. Low electric, medium electric, or high electric. Or you can have gas, or gas and electric, like that. Nice and simple. Okay, so boiler drain valve for the whale boiler. It's just on the top, and it's just that yellow knob there. And all you do is literally just turn it 90 degrees away from you, just that way. I can't do it now because water will pour out, but it just turns like that. Just nice, positive clunk, 90 degrees, and that's open, and the water will drain out. Simple as that.